But then under that window, I want like a big dresser. But I like Ray's. You know, I think she would like that. You know, yeah. as I said, you can have a couple cute bins and stuff. What's on this side of yours? Mine is more hangy stuff, but still like drawers and stuff. I, I don't know what the picture is. We're just heading out right now, checking cameras, and I've been moving some. I got a couple bucks that Tiffany wanted to hunt that we haven't hunted those stands for a couple of years. So I gotta go check the straps and check those stands and make sure everything's good on them. And uh, we got southeast wind today, so it makes it a little a little trickier. Some of these fields don't have stands. I might throw up another stand, or I've got several rednecks on trailers right now that. I could bring out and uh, set up in places if we need to as well. I think he's four. He's a giant deer, but I think he's four. Hey, Dad, that's the one thing I needed on your picture because I'm making a picture for you again. Okay. Do you want your old pictures back? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can go get it from my backpack and bring it back into you if you want to change Dad, the picture. I will give the car back to you, but I need one thing of the picture. Okay. Uh, this one. Wait, that's a big deer. Where's that? It's on that little north field. That's what I'm wondering if he's up in the beans or anywhere else. I'm thinking we just gotta move him from there, like up into our big fields. That's why we got all that extra corn and beans and everything else. He's gonna go there and then just go up the hill to the. It's not far. No, to our big. I'm like, is that a dog or a kid? November 19th. I say it every day, but it's like, how the heck did it get to November 19th already? Doesn't seem like it should even be October 19th. I shot my first buck just two mornings ago, and I was hunting this big seven by seven up here. Tiffany and I both. She was like, awesome. I'm just so regular. And then, then it kind of disappeared. He was gone for two or three weeks, and I just—I didn't know if somebody shot him or what happened, but now. Three of the last four mornings, he's walked right here, here, you know, twice in daylight and once just right before daylight. And just like, what the heck? And see if he comes out tonight. And if he still, if it doesn't show tonight, I might pop up here and try a try a morning. I don't normally you know, hunt fields like this in the morning. I like being in the timber. I do have a stand back in the timber in there, so I'll see what the wind's gonna do, and I'll decide. Maybe we'll come here in the morning or back in the timber in there. Try hitting the antlers. If he's close, maybe we can bring him in. So sit tight for a little bit and then try the antlers right away. It worked last time for me, so maybe it'll work tonight.
it's November 20th and we're back after that big 7x7. Seven seven. I'm beginning to change his name to the Night Stalker because it seems like every picture we get of him now is like right before light in the morning or right after dark. In the evenings, last night we hunted the stand down there. Didn't see much at all. And as soon as we got up, by the time I got home, there was a picture of him going right through that pinch point down there. And he's been doing that like the last week. It doesn't seem like he's with a doe and there's does out here. You'd think that, you know, being that it's, you know, November, you'd think that he'd be out all day in the middle of the day running this thing. It's just strange. The wind was not right for in the timber where I wanted to go. It'd be blown right into where I think that they're bedding and where they're going to, so. I see a buck up there. Probably take there. He's wide, but he's young. Big deer with a broken brow. on his neck earlier. He's, he looks kind of like he's got a skinny neck, but he's an old deer. They're down at the other end right now, but nothing right here. Okay, we're just in the kitchen right now, Paul. And you did an excellent job with the kitchen. However, you forgot a garbage can. No, it was supposed so, to be in that corner, I thought. Uh, it's not a great spot for a garbage can. And then where were you putting all your pots and pans? There's not one inch of storage in that island, which is ludicrous considering the size of it. Yeah. And not very user friendly, but the problem we're running into, we don't have a garbage can, a big garbage can. So we talked about moving, taking out the little small cabinet in the corner. Well, you can't because there's a dishwasher yeah. there. But do you really think we need two dishwashers? Because if we pulled that one dishwasher out of the middle island, that would make a huge space. And I'm like, do we really need two dishwashers? Okay. Yeah, we can. We could skip one. If we have an extra one, it doesn't matter. We can put it down the basement behind the bar or something for... I mean, I almost think that's a better idea, you know. Okay, all right, so you really don't care. No. Bye, honey. Bye. Thank you for getting that set up. I can't wait to hear all about it. Good luck tonight. Go to see Sienna. 
Good luck, boys. See you. Cameras. We got the straps. Yeah, we got everything in there for those. We're back up after the Night Stalker, as we call them now. Same place we were this morning. And it's warmed up quite a bit, and there's like no wind tonight, which isn't bad either. But you know, normally you wish for the coldest temps, but up here where we got all of our crushed clover through here and then our brassicas here the corn up there it's almost better when it warms up a lot more of these deer will hit greens and hit clovers when it's warm when it gets really cold they'll be we have a great big bean field down below we have corn about 200 yards this way so it's actually better as you can see some of the those have already come out and bedded out in the clover and that's what they do a lot when it's warmer they come on eating these lay out here that's much more conducive to have those bugs come and checking the clover fields out so i feel better about it being warm actually so we're just gonna sit back and hopefully he shows up you know he was here last night just right after dark but there wasn't any last night or this morning so usually it's one of those things like every couple days or every third days when they show up so that's what our hope is. We'll just keep keep on them up here and just wear them down, just like we did on the Big Ten. Just stay after them, and eventually we'll eventually we'll get eyes on him. So Tiffany's not hunting tonight, so it's just me. Santa Claus, believe it or not, Santa Claus was in Iowa today. So she brought the kids to see him because they're so excited to tell them what they wanted for Christmas. So. It's incredible that Santa Claus is in Iowa, the entire world that he has to travel. He comes to our little town of Iowa. Incredible. That man is amazing. <laughs> See, that's him. He's probably very similar. But he's, yeah, he's maybe a little shorter there. He's got, he's got a couple. He's got a little sticker there. Very, very similar. That deer in his shot. Boy, he's skinny though. Yeah, unless he's with a doe, I'd say there's a pretty good chance he's gonna pop out here. It's November 21st. It's actually a little bit chillier than I thought it was gonna be. It's like 40 degrees this morning, but it's supposed to go down to like 20 tonight. It'd be like high at 30 tomorrow, so we got some colder weather coming. But I'm still after the big seven by seven, begin to call them the night stalker, because it seems like we're only getting nighttime pictures of them lately, but we decided to come in the back door here and get in the timber. We had this stand here for Tiffany when she was hunting the buck that was on that same field a few years back. And so you kind of get in the back side here. You know, when they're coming off the field, we've been hunting, they usually bed like either up on this knob and those cedars up there, or there's big cedar patches all along that back edge. And I thought we could see if we could catch them in the timber maybe in the morning. So sit here and see what happens. I think if nothing else, we got intel for the turkey season. But 
Hopefully we'll get some deer in here too. spray all the time and it's not because they're a sponsor or anything but it just it works you know, we just had those does five minutes ago come behind us to get right downwind there and smell us and run out of there as soon as i saw them coming downwind of us like that gave it a few sprays on each side and then you can't get rid of them i mean they sat there and he's like right here and right there and all that and they're smelling it's one of the tools that i always 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 have in my back and a lot of times I'll just give it a spray in the morning, but if I see a deer coming, you know, especially, you know, if it's one that I don't want to spook, like that four-year-old's going to be a giant for next year, and I just don't want him to get onto his ear. This is the asterisk. They have the doe one, too, that I use early season and late season just to cover your scent. They smell it's just another deer, and they get downwind and get by you, so just another testament to it. done it a hundred times. It's worked like this, but this was a good example of it, too. Glad he's stamp-putting, just stamp-put right in there, that nice 
superstar, young one. seventh buck we've seen and several does so not bad but just no old bucks that really nice four-year-old it's gonna be a stud it was nice to see him but we haven't seen any five or six year old bucks on there most of them are probably are likely still locked down but Like, you know, we really need to be on the next ridge over to be really be in his wheelhouse. Just a sour buck. There's a bunch of does getting to him. Got like a couple bucks over here. Looks like the, you know, all those other bucks are trying to get in on this doe. He's got like one doe up there. All these other ones came there just right here. But he's up on that hillside over there with that one doe. We're just hoping that maybe some of these other bucks are trying to and they'd bump her around, she'd come over on this ridge, but I don't know if that's good. maybe, you never know though. Okay, she's kind of moving, they're moving out now.
I was laying down right there. Sunshine's on that rack down there. It's like deja vu. I got the buck I want. That money is over on the next ridge over there with a doe. And they're both bedded down. And I sat up all day waiting for them. You know, a few days ago. Of course, they walked off. And the next morning, we were going to go out. And Reagan, you know, because we were out all day the day before. And Reagan packed me this lunch. And then I went up the next morning and killed him in the first 10 minutes. So I've had my lunch still in there waiting for another day like this. He's bedded right over on that side over there with a doe and you, you really can't, you know, not wait him out because you don't know when they get that doe up and they can just bump right up onto this ridge. So you basically gotta sit here until you see that they walk away or whatever. But I assume since our big food plot field is on the other side of them then when they get up they'll probably head up that way but you never know. Here's my drawings from Reagan. Oh, it's beautiful, Rags. Look at that. I even have the breast cancer awareness ribbon on there. My note from Cameron. Dad, love Cameron. <laughs> That's awesome. Does it get any better than this? It's like November. You're hunting in Iowa. Are you looking at notes from my kids. I can look off 75 yards down there. I see a big old six-year-old nine point just eating acorns. I can look over there and I got a doe bed and a giant uh, six-year-old that I'm hunting is laying on the hillside over there. And I got a smashed lunch that I had from several days ago. Ooh, but mini donuts. <laughs> 